Hello everyone, this is a short video on how to bath your hatchling leopard tortoise. I'll be covering what items you need, how long and how often to bath your hatchling tortoise, how much water to use, the temperatures, why they should be having a bath, drying your hatchling and cleaning and disinfecting afterwards. So first of all, these are the items that I'd recommend you getting so that you can bath your tortoise. You'll need a tub and the sides of the tub need to be solid so they can't see through and don't spend all their time in the bath trying to escape. The sides of the tub also need to be high enough so they can't see over the top of the tub and try to climb out. I'd suggest you having two tubs to make it easier for you when you need to change the bath water over during their bath. It's also a good idea to have a thermometer so that you can check the water temperatures are okay during their bath. And you'll need some warm water. You can use tap water, but a better option would be to use cold boiled water. Don't be tempted to use any other products to clean your tortoise, like shampoos or detergents and things like that, unless it's been advised by your vet. You'll need something to dry your hatchling, like paper towels or kitchen towels. You'll need some tortoise safe disinfectant so you can clean their bathtub afterwards. I do have another video on the tortoise safe disinfectant that I use if you want more information on this. And I'd also recommend disinfectant wipes so that you can wipe down the surfaces that the bathtub or bath water may have been in contact with just to make sure that you've killed any bacteria. But if you don't have these then you can use the tortoise safe disinfectant. You may want to use an unused toothbrush to clean off any stubborn dirt that's on the tortoise's shell or body. And of course you'll need your hatchling. Next we'll cover how long and how often you need to bath your hatchling for. Hatchlings become dehydrated very quickly so it's important to bath them more frequently until they're about a year old. So I'd recommend doing this for 10 minutes every other day. Then as your tortoise gets older, you can reduce how often you bath them and increase the length of time they're in the bath. So for example, a one to four year old, I'd recommend bathing for 20 minutes twice a week. And over four years old, I'd recommend bathing for 30 minutes once a week. I'd also recommend bathing your tortoise before you feed it in the morning, as they normally look for food straight after their bath. Next we'll cover how much water to use. I'd recommend covering the first layer of scoots on the carapace so that the water level comes just under their chin so they can drink if they want to. But make sure the water level is no higher than this so they can still breathe easily and they're not stressed if the water level is too high. Next we'll cover the temperatures of the bath water. I'd recommend it being lukewarm so somewhere around 30 to 32 degrees C. It's important that the bath water temperature isn't too high as you don't want to overheat your tortoise so I'd recommend no higher than 34 degrees C. Also we don't want your tortoise to get too cold in the water so I'd recommend making sure it doesn't go below 26 degrees C. Next we'll cover why they should be having a bath. The main reason for bathing your tortoise is to make sure your tortoise is kept hydrated. Temperatures in your tortoise table can be quite high and your tortoise could become dehydrated very quickly. So even if they do have access to water in their table, they may not drink from it very often. So to ensure they're nicely hydrated, then you should bath them regularly. When they're in the bath, they take on water both through drinking as well as through their cloaca, which is the hole in their tail. Bathing also stimulates your tortoise to go to the toilet and flush out their system. So now I'll go through a quick demonstration on bathing your tortoise using the items we talked about previously. First we get the bath water ready. So what I'll do is get the thermometer into the tub before I put the water in. And we're wanting this to be between 30 and 32 degrees C. As I mentioned previously, cooled boiled water is ideal. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using normal tap water, which is okay as well. If you don't have a thermometer, then the water temperature should be lukewarm or baby bath warm. And once we have the bath water at the right temperature, we can then tip away the excess water so we have enough water to cover the first layer of scoots that we talked about previously. 
And now the bath water's ready, we can go and get our hatchling. And once you've put your hatchling in the bath water, then just gently splash water over their shell and head, just to encourage them to drink. If your hatchling's shell and skin are particularly dirty, then you can use an unused toothbrush just to gently brush away the dirt from their shell, their head, legs and tail. But be really gentle on areas that are not covered by scales, as these are particularly sensitive. As this tortoise is under a year old, we'll be bathing him or her for about 10 minutes and we'll be constantly monitoring the temperatures throughout their bath time. When your tortoise is in the bath, it'll probably have a poo. And when they're about to do this, you may see their tail waggle and they may pull their head right into their shell. Don't worry if you do see the head going underwater when they do this. They won't drown as long as the water level isn't too high. Once the temperature goes below 30 degrees C or the water is dirty, then you can get the second bathtub ready to move them over to. So I'll just go and do that now. Some people put a basking lamp over their hatchling to keep them warm during their bath. But I personally wouldn't recommend this as your hatchling could overheat if it can't move away from the basking lamp. So I'd recommend simply changing their bath water when it gets too cold. And once again, when they're in the new bathtub of water, we need to make sure that the level of water just covers the first layer of scoots like we can see here. Also, the other things I mentioned previously that they may do in the bath is they may have a drink like we can see here or they may take on water through their cloaca or as well as taking on water they may also be getting rid of water by having a wee like we can see in this clip. It's important to always keep an eye on your tortoise while it's in the bath as sometimes they flip over if they try and climb up the sides and we don't want them to do this in case they drown. Now we just grab the tub with the poo in it and flush it down the toilet. Then we can rinse this ready for the next bath water. Then, as before, we'll throw away the used water and rinse the tub again. Next, we'll cover drying your hatchling. After your hatchling has had its bath, then I'd recommend drying them off with either a piece of kitchen roll or paper towel. The reason for drying them off is to make sure they don't become chilly, as when you get them out of the bath, the water cools quite quickly on their skin and shell. And it also helps preventing the substrate from sticking to them when you put them back in their tortoise table. So to dry your tortoise, you very gently dab away the water with a paper towel. And what we need to do is the face, the legs, the shell, the carapace, the underneath, the plastron. 
When you're giving your hatchling a bath, it's a good opportunity to run through the basic health checks. I have another video on how to do these checks if you want more information on this. And now your little hatchling is nicely hydrated and clean, it's ready to go back into its tortoise table. Next I'll cover cleaning and disinfecting. Once you've put your hatchling back into its tortoise table, then we can clean and disinfect the bathtub and any surfaces that we've used. So once you've flushed the used water away, we can then rinse the bathtubs with hot water. Then we squirt in some tortoise safe disinfectant so that we can use a sponge scrubber to clean the bathtub. You'll need to make sure that the sponge that you're using is only used for your tortoise, so we avoid the risk of spreading bacteria and diseases, either to humans or other tortoises that you may have. Then we rinse out the tubs with water. Then we squirt the tubs again with the disinfectant and leave it to drip dry. The tortoise safe disinfectant that I'm using works best if it is left to drip dry rather than trying to dry it off with a kitchen towel or rinsing it away. Next we wipe down the taps, the worktops and sinks that you've used just to make sure we've killed any bacteria. I personally prefer to use these disinfectant wipes but you could use your tortoise safe disinfectant for this if you prefer. Incidentally, I wouldn't recommend these wipes to clean your tortoise's food or water bowls as they may have chemicals in which could be harmful to your tortoise. So I'd stick with the tortoise safe disinfectant to clean food and water bowls and any other items from your tortoise table. So in summary, I'd recommend bathing your hatchling up to a year old for 10 minutes every other day, to use warm water, so around 30 to 32 degrees C, the level of the water should cover the first layer of scoots, you'd need to monitor the temperatures throughout their bath time, dry your tortoise after their bath, and thoroughly clean and disinfect the bathtub and other surfaces. Thanks for watching my video and if you've enjoyed it please click the thumbs up and subscribe to see my other videos.